Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to my channel, Web Dev Junkie. In this video, someone on my Discord asked me if I had any suggestions or kind of asked the community in my Discord, how do you do this like this border along the outside? So you see how it's like a square, but then the corners are kind of cut off. So he kind of asked us that and I didn't know. I really didn't know how to solve this. So I figured I would try to figure it out because I'm always interested in solving cool things with CSS. So I also wanted to kind of walk through my thought process because just showing you the solution isn't necessarily good in terms of like you learning. I think it's better if I show you how I got to a solution. So the first thing that came to mind is there's something in CSS called clip path, right? I haven't used it to build something like this, but I know it exists. I've used it to build triangles. So I went ahead and I found this, um, this cool little tool. Uh, the URL is right here if you want to look at it, but I just typed in like CSS clip path online and this tool came up. And looking through here, they have a bunch of different shapes. So I went ahead and just clicked one that was kind of similar. They have a bevel here. And I figured, okay, maybe I can go here and just delete uh, some of the corners and get this to look like what he wants. So that is basically how you can do it like this, right? So kind of copied it over a little bit, you know, made it look closer to what he wanted. So I loaded up CodePen and I basically copied over that uh, clip path that I got from that website. So the only issue with this is as you can see, it's clipping the object after the border has been applied. And I don't think there's a workaround for that. All right, so I kind of had to do some, you know, further investigation. So I went back to Google and I typed in clip path removing border. And so if you click on the first link, at least for me, the first link that came back, oh my gosh, are you serious? What is this? Not enough space for environment. Bro, that's the first time I've ever seen that. Yo, Stack Overflow is crashing. Anyway, okay, so I, I found this post where some guy's asking like, yo, how do I add, make sure the border is added to my clip path? And this guy's like, you can't do it. Okay, so he gives an ex a solution where he says you can put a container and also a nested div inside the container that both have very similar structure. You apply the clip path to both of them and you make the container larger than your nested object, right? You can read through this if you want to, but the gist of it, if I go back to my code pen, let me undo all that stuff because I just kind of deleted stuff to show you. All right, so here is the gist of it. If I, let me copy this one so it looks a little bit better. All right, so here is the gist of basically what you do. You can make a container which has the exact same clip path on it, and you want to make this a little bit larger. So the width is six pixels more than the internal rec and the height is six pixels more from the internal rec. So it's a larger container and then inside of it I nested another um, DOM element that's a little bit smaller. So you can see here we have a width of 200 and a height of 200. And then we position it over a little bit so it's offset by three pixels um, from the left and the top. So basically what you're seeing here, this orange little box is literally just another DOM element overlaid on top of a white DOM element. So it's a white and an orange. And then in his example, what he wanted um, was that. So if you wanted to just change the background to like transparent, I think you can do that. Uh, actually, no. So if you wanted to, you could change the background to like black. And then that is how you could achieve what he was looking for. So you see that kind of design. Mine's not identical to his, but it's pretty close. And then you could probably just embed an image with some some text here to get it to look what he wants. But yeah. That is my solution, and again, the, the point of this video was not showing you how to do it. I wanted to show you how I figured out how to do it, because I think that's a lot of things that people don't explain. You watch a lot of tutorials, people just show you how to do stuff, they just type the code, and you're in there just copying and pasting what they type, and you don't understand how they figured out a solution or how they came to the final product. You really need to see the full flow from start to finish, what was the thought process of how they started with nothing, and they got to the solution, and that is the number one issue I have with tutorial videos um, in general. I really like live coding videos. So you can see someone from scratch like build something. And you can see them going to docs, going to Google, asking Stack Overflow, figuring out these things on the fly. So you can kind of see their thought process and how they solved it. Anyway, that was just a complete random tangent. But I hope that information was useful for you all. Yeah, so be sure to join my Discord if you have questions like this as well. Because when you ask me questions, it gives me kind of ideas for making content. And uh, yeah, it just really helps me out. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Also, leave me a comment below if you've ever used something like Clip Path before to build cool shapes or if you have another solution for building this out. And then like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to push that subscribe button. 
because I'm going to be publishing videos like this in the future, which you probably want to check out. All right. Happy coding, y'all. Have a good day.